You're listening to the What the Wrestling Podcast, the show that brings you all things wrestling with your host, RJD. Time it is. Perfect. AEW Full Gear coming to you tomorrow. Live from the Prudential Center. And we are going to run down the match card. But before we do, check out my socials. Follow me, RJD, RJ699 on Twitter, RJD199 on Snapchat. But most importantly, follow What The Wrestling on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. Follow What The Wrestling on Spotify and Anchor. Let's get into it. Let's go. Yes, 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 tis I, RJD here. Welcome to What The Wrestling, the show that brings you all things wrestling. I, once again, am your host, RJD, and we got full gear tomorrow. I am actually looking forward to full gear, looking forward to seeing what happens, what's going to happen, what's going on. Are we getting any surprises? The Elite is coming back. It's MJF the Devil. Or is he not? This is going to be very interesting. Pardon my attire. It is 10 degrees below zero in this crib. But it's all good. We shall keep it pushing. First things first. Hit the like button. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel What The Wrestling on all the social media platforms. With more coming soon that will be added to the intro. Look out for it. So, with that being said... We're going to run down the match card, baby. I should have got some water before it came on, man. Woo. Can't let the baldy flow tonight. In fact, we're just going to fold this up like that. There we go. <laughs> it's cold in here, man. Shit. Just threw out my heater recently. Woo. Woo. Hace frio. Now, let's run down the match card. So, I think this, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 matches on this card. Not including the buy-in. They probably will add in one or two. They probably will add in one or two for the buy-in. Man, it's going to be a long night. Probably not going to end until around 11, 30, 12. Listen, that Jersey crowd is going to be hostile. So that's a good thing. But, man, I hope they have enough energy for the end of this show. I really do. Because MJF and Mox, I need the crowd to be up, up, and away, and alive and well for that match. So, let's start. Uh, We will end with the championship match. But let's start with Wardlow versus Samoa Joe versus Powerhouse Hobbs for the TNT championship. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to go against my better judgment. You stupid. I know. I know. And I'm going to say Powerhouse Hobbs wins the title. I think Powerhouse Hobbs should win the title. I think you got three badass dudes in there. Joe done choked out Wardlow. And I think if those two focus on each other. Excuse me, if those two focus on each other, I think Powerhouse Hobbs could come away with the win and it would be 
it would be dope. Uh, who does he pin? Probably Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe probably eats the pin, but I mean Joe's gonna be fine. He's still a badass dude. Wardlow. I know that I know they don't want to pin Wardlow. So maybe Joe was added to this match so that Powerhouse Hobbs could pin Joe. I mean, why not? I will put the title on Hobbs. Keeps Wardlow strong. Joe's on a whole nother brand anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And as far as AEW is concerned, and you can have Wardlow chase him. Have Powerhouse Hobbs have a real good title reign. And have Wardlow have something to do because they cooled off Wardlow ever since he beat MJF. It's like they had nothing else to do for him. So I think I'm picking Hobbs. I like that. You got Sting and Darby Allen versus Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. I'm going to have a hard time picking <laughs> Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett for this. I'm taking Sting and Darby to beat Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. Jeff Jarrett takes the pin. Maybe he takes the Scorpion Death Lock and taps out from Sting. We haven't seen Sting in a while anyway, so I could see Sting winning this. Soraya versus The Doctor, Britt Baker, DMD. Britt Baker cut a very, very, very good babyface promo on Dynamite. Soraya is fresh off the street, fresh off of a seven-year hiatus, something like that. Haven't seen her actually wrestle or take a bump in forever. I think these ladies are going to have a very, very good match. I really do. I think they're going to have a very good match. Soraya, I really am pulling for her just to have a solid match. Come away with the bumps and bruises on the body and not the neck. Um, hopefully, she feels good to get back in there in front of a live audience. I'm sure she's going to be nervous as hell. I'm picking Soraya to beat the uh, Britt Baker. Because it would make no sense to pull this woman off the street for her to lose. She's stupid. That would be dumb. Jungle Boy versus Luchasaurus in a steel cage. Um, I'm having a hard time picking Jungle Boy, but I'm going to pick Jungle Boy. But this is the one where I feel Jungle Boy could, could lose. I, I just feel it in my gut that he's not gonna that he's not gonna win, but I'm gonna pick Jungle Boy because I think some buffoonery, some buffoonery in this match is gonna enable Jungle Boy to win. Even though Christian Cage, you know, they can't touch him, he's hurt. Jungle Boy should not be beating Luchasaurus in a steel cage, so some buffoonery will allow him to get the victory. Jade Cargill versus Nyla Rose. For the World TBS Women's Championship, um, Nyla Rose, even though this feud has been lackluster, my favorite part of this feud has been Nyla Rose and just how obnoxious she's been. So I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking Jade. I think they could have built this up to have Nyla be a credible, they could have built this up in a way where Nyla Rose was a very credible monster woman heel. Well, Jade's sort of a heel too, but they could have built up Nyla to be a believable challenger to actually beat her. And it could have been, you know, the beast versus the baddies. Like, I don't know. They could have built this up different. Instead, it was made like comedy. Like, oh, I stole your belt, bitch. Bye. Like, I think they could have did a better job of this. And it could have been like more of a hyped up match. I don't even expect this match to go that long, to be honest. But I still think Athena gave Jade the best match that she's ever had. Even though it was like five minutes long, it was a bang, 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 five minutes. That match was great. Uh, I'm picking Jade Jade to retain here. They're going to have to figure out what to do with Jade. Who, I think Statlander was primed to beat her, but when Statlander went down, there ain't nobody to beat her now. So, And Jamie Hayter's already fighting... Uh, Tony Storm, so I would... Jamie Hayter is the only one right now built up enough to beat Jade, and she's the only one powerful enough because and, and that wrestles strong enough. It might take five Rainmakers. 
It might take five rate makers to beat Jade, but I think she's the only one built up enough to do it besides Stat, but Stat got hurt. So we wish Stat the best, but I'm taking Jade. Death Triangle. But I, I can't say it in Spanish. <laughs> the Angulo something muerte. I, I don't know Spanish. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you stupid. Versus the returning elite. I think that the elite win. I think that Pac tries to cheat and tries to whack Kenny Omega over the head with the hammer. I think Ray Phoenix stops him. And then Pac. And then they lose. And then after the match, Pac whacks both of them, the Lucha Bros, over the head with the goddamn hammer and goes his own way, breaking up the Death Triangle. I think that's what happens there. Chris Jericho versus Brian Danielson versus Sammy Guevara versus Claudio Castagnoli for the Ring of Honor World Championship. I'm not going to lie. I have a hard time. I have a hard time. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one match with Claudia? Is this a, four, a fatal four-way now? I thought this was a one-on-one -on -one match. Claudio versus Jericho. Okay, maybe I'm bugging. Okay, um, because it says a four-way. Wait, let me make sure this is not a fatal four-way. Hold on. This makes no sense. I'm like, wait, what? You stupid. <laughs> I'm like, this is it's a fatal four way. It definitely is a fatal four. I thought it was a one on one match. My bad. All right, let me hit the button on myself. Stupid. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. Uh, still having a hard time <laughs> seeing how Chris Jericho loses the match. I I would favor Danielson. I would say I would want Danielson to win, but no, they're going to keep that thing on Jericho. Jericho is going to find a way to win. It would be dope to see uh, Danielson win, and then it would be dope to see Daniel Garcia eventually challenge Danielson for the Ring of Honor title. But I think they want to still build it up, and I think Jericho ain't losing that title. So, Tony Storm versus Jamie Hayter for the interim. AEW Women's Championship. I'm taking uh, Tony Storm because I think Jamie Hayter gets screwed by Britt Baker. And I think Jamie Hayter needs to go out on her own and be a big megastar because I think she has all the tools to do it. And she's badass in that ring. But I think now is the time where they pull the trigger where... Jamie Hayter is about to win, and Britt Baker just can't, she just can't take it. But this match would have to go on after, obviously, Britt Baker and Soraya. It would have to. You can't have this match go on first, and then she fights Soraya later on in the day. I mean, you could technically, but and then she, she could come screw her, and Soraya could beat her. And then you put Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter in the feud. So, I mean, you could do it either way, but... I'm taking Tony Storm to retain because of some buffoonery. The Acclaimed. Yo, listen. The Acclaimed versus Swerve in our glory. I'm taking the Acclaimed to retain. I am taking Swerve to go heel after they lose. And he is going to go heel on Mr. Keith Lee. And that will start their feud coming out of this. I like Keith Lee and Swerve together. They are like great. They are a great pair. Great tag team offense. I'm glad they put them together. And I think Swerve is going to be a fantastic heel because he's cool. He's cool as hell. But the acclaim to retain way too soon to take the title off them. I think the only, per the only people who take the title off them is FTR. But I would like for them to have at least a decent title reign. Maybe six months. Maybe the next pay-per-view. And then they fight FTR and lose. That's fine with me. But I think FTR has to get all the belts. Has to. But not yet. They claimed. Right now is their time. Ethan Page versus Brian Cage versus Absolute Ricky Starks versus Lance Archer. Uh, Eliminator Tournament Finals. 
Oh no, this is this is gonna be Ethan Page. This is gonna be Ethan Cage versus uh, probably Ricky Starks. Cause oh yeah, those matches are on Rampage tonight. Okay, yeah. So I messed that up too. Stupid. I'm like, it's a fatal four way. Halfway. No, it's not a fatal four way. <laughs> I've been. That's the second time I did that. I'm messing up out here. Sorry, y'all. Ethan Page versus probably I want to say Ricky Starks. So with that being said. I'm taking all ego Ethan Page to beat whoever comes out of this. And Ethan Page will be the first challenger for whoever wins the main event. <laughs> so we'll see. The main event is as follows. John Moxley versus MJF. The only question here is, is MJF going to be the devil you know or the devil you don't? Because ain't no way in hell. I'm picking John Moxley to retain. I'm taking MJF. Give me a hell yeah. I said give me a hell yeah. Respect my authority. Respect, baby. I'm taking MJF. Taking Mr. Friedman. I think he goes full blown heel. He's gonna kick Moxley in the nuts, or William Regal is gonna interfere. And if William Regal interfere, that essentially breaks up the, the Blackpool Combat Club. So maybe William Regal interferes here, whacks Moxley over the head, or maybe MJF takes the brass knucks. He keeps saying, I'm not going to use the Dynamite Diamond Ring. I'm not going to use the Dynamite Diamond Ring. So I think he uses the brass knucks. Either he takes them from William Regal, or William Regal uses them willingly and... We crown ourselves a new AEW World Champion, MJF, who's better than you, and you know it. Stop it. Get some help. That is what I think. So I'm looking forward to a great show in the Prudential Center. We got SmackDown coming on in about 20 minutes as of this recording. Uh, it's chilly up, up here in the Northeast, but we'll see what's going on there. Tomorrow, we will have a full recap. Uh, I will see if Isaac wants to hop on. Maybe he does. Um, not tomorrow. Sunday, we will have a full recap of the show. Tomorrow morning, there will be a video out to talk about the news. We got news on Punk. We got news on Cole. We got news on a potential match for WrestleMania with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Give me a hand. And you already know we're going to have the SmackDown and Rampage reviews. So, with that being said, check out my socials one more time. Everybody enjoy your Friday night. The night is young. Be safe out there. Don't drink and drive. I will holler at y'all manana. We got Sami Zayn back tonight, y'all. Y'all know what that means. Perfect. It's going to be great. With that being said, I am out. I holler at y'all. Peace. Don't the monk go.